The first common mistake is overspending. It can be easy to get caught up in spending more than you can afford or have set aside for a purchase, but unfortunately, this kind of behavior can lead to serious trouble down the road. Overspending is detrimental to your financial security and can also affect your physical and mental health. For example, research shows that people who overspend often report higher levels of stress, guilt, and depression than those who don't. You should identify your spending habits and be mindful of what triggers your urge to spend. Next, try to avoid situations that can make you feel tempted. Finally, find ways to reward yourself without spending money. It may be difficult at first, but it's definitely worth it. The second common mistake is saving instead of investing. Saving your money, of course, is important for when you need to withdraw it immediately, for example, in emergencies. But you should also invest a predefined slice of your income into growth assets such as shares or property, hopefully outperforming inflation. Savings often do not keep up with inflation. When that happens, the value of the money you save decreases. Also, compound interest means the earlier you start, the more growth potential your portfolio has, so it's a really good habit to develop even if you only spare a small slice to invest. The third money mistake is one that you might not see as a money mistake at all, wasting free time. But as they say, time is money. You should enjoy life and take time to rest, but it's also wise to make sure that you use some of your spare time to gain high income skills, or use those that you already have, to get another source of income, which can put to work increasing your investment portfolio and savings, and therefore, increasing your chances of lasting financial security. The fourth common money mistake is not setting financial goals. Without goals, your financial journey will lead you to the middle of nowhere. Setting clear, time-bound, realistic goals will help you stay motivated, providing you with focus so you can commit fewer money mistakes, like, for example, spending money on things you don't need that don't contribute to your goals in life. It also helps you know exactly how much you need to save and invest, allowing you to track and adjust your spending accordingly. And better yet, Setting goals is a huge accomplishment. It's the first step to financial freedom. The fifth is currently a big one. Poor credit management. The real problem here is when you use credit cards to overspend or buy essentials when you're already finding it hard to make repayments. To avoid doing this, define what you want the credit card for and try to spend it on only that to avoid spiraling debt. Often, one aim is building your credit score. This can be really important in securing a mortgage or a loan, so to meet this aim, make your required payments on time, keeping a low balance compared to your credit limit. Some use credit cards for emergencies, though this is only recommended when you don't have enough money in your emergency fund, because with a credit card, you have to pay interest on the money you used. But remember, the bottom line here is only to use your credit card for things you know you can pay off in full. The sixth important mistake you could make is lacking a clear budget. It's a true saying that what you measure improves. Tracking what you are spending and where will not only help you to save your desired amount, but also prevent you from overspending. Although, of course, some money should be fun money, so you enjoy life and don't feel the need to splurge your money suddenly. It will motivate you to spend more wisely so you can meet your targets. This will, in turn, allow you to relax a little. If you're hitting your targets, you'll feel more at ease and in control of your finances, which is an important component of financial freedom. So start tracking exactly what you're spending and compare it with your realistic goals for how much you want to spend on each item. Mistake number seven is having just one source of income. As Warren Buffett said, never depend on a single income. It can be a great risk to rely only on your day job for income. In the event of recessions and layoffs, that income source could vanish instantly. It can also be difficult for wages to keep up with inflation. The solution is to have two to three income streams and put your money to work by buying assets, such as stocks or real estate, which make money while you sleep. There are various ways to make money. For example, getting your first freelance client, selling online courses, coaching, and many others. So if you haven't already, start working on gaining that second income stream. The eighth common money mistake is not optimizing taxes. Tax evasion. Trying to decrease your tax bill by deceit is a crime. However, tax avoidance, 
decreasing your tax bill by structuring transactions to get the biggest tax benefits is legal and a brilliant way to help you meet your financial goals. The goal of tax planning is to, within the law, pay the least amount of tax allowed. To do this, you should use every available deduction, both those that are business deductions and personal deductions, to decrease your taxable income. And it would help if you claimed all the tax credits available to you under the law. Mistake number nine is having unnecessary monthly subscriptions. Subscriptions such as cable TV, music, video streaming services, and expensive gym memberships can add up over the course of a year. So taking time to evaluate which ones you're gaining value from is beneficial for your budget. If you go to the gym regularly, keep your membership. But if you don't, unsubscribing may be a good idea for your bank account. Also, Go to a cheaper gym or getting a basic membership still makes it possible to reach your exercise targets. Canceling cable TV can save you a lot of money. Streaming services like Netflix are cheaper and offer the same or even greater freedom and choice. But even in Netflix's case, finding alternatives could save you money and be a more valuable resource. Netflix is designed for binge watching, and reducing that gives you more time to learn new high income skills and meet your financial goals. The tenth mistake is buying items that lose their value quickly. In terms of your net worth, the worst thing you can do is borrow money to buy something which loses value. You pay interest each month in order to lose money every month, depleting your net worth. When you buy a new car, for example, it loses 20% of its value when you drive it out of the dealership, so it makes sense to buy depreciating assets like this secondhand. Also, Buying a new phone every year, for example, is, in most cases, an ineffective use of your money, as there's no performance difference between models as long as all the software updates can still take place on an older phone. Mistake number 11 is not having an emergency fund. Ideally, this should be three to six months' worth of the money you need to survive in an emergency savings account so that a lost job or large unexpected expense does not cause you even greater problems. Try to make sure you're as financially prepared as possible for whatever may happen in the future. The twelfth common money mistake is having a job without growth potential. Using your job as a place to learn new skills, meet new people, and gain a new perspective is really important. Assessing areas for improvement, asking for a bigger challenge at work, and learning new skills outside of work, as we discussed, makes you more likely to receive a promotion and be paid more in your job. Making sure to see your job as a learning opportunity can definitely come in handy for you financially. Mistake number 13 is falling for get-rich-quick schemes. These offer suspiciously high rates of return, with minimal amounts of time, effort, risk, or skill required, getting you to hand over information or money so they can steal your identity or funds. They often come through social media, text messages, or email. Falling for these will set you back financially and mentally as you see all your efforts vanish. Remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch. You've probably made at least one of these mistakes while managing your finances, and that's perfectly fine. The key is to recognize and understand financial missteps so that you can do everything possible to avoid them in the future. Please, share in the comment section below what you do to avoid making those mistakes. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell as more valuable content is on the way.